So the number one reason I would tell you to steer clear of this is if you heavily rely on your PC as your main driver for you to uh, record, like if you absolutely have to record from your laptop. So as you can see, my setup here is I'm powering up this mixer with a power pack and it's running from the USB micro USB connector in the back of this mixer to my power pack. Now, if you were to give this a try, you would toggle this button. I have it pressed in because I'm using MP3, but if you were to press it out, you would then be able to hook it to computer and then it would recognize it and then you can record. Now, the drawback of using a PC, especially with this unit, and I've seen other reviews who have similar issues, is when you record with your mic, you have a lot of distortion. You'll record and then you'll hear your voice clear, then it'll start to static and then almost have a robotic sound. So, I would steer clear of this unit if you heavily des desire to use your PC as your main driver. However, if you're using this for podcasting, not doing um, heavy instrumentations or things like that, there are other options. But like I said, if you heavily rely on the PC, then steer away from here. But if you want to be able to still get the best bang for your buck if you've already purchased this or if you're still on the ropes, you still are not out of luck because guess what? You can use either the USB or you can use the TF card, which is another word for a micro SD slot. And so you can buy these at Walmart, Target, Amazon, and this is 16 gigs. This is ample for, you know, recording, you know, for a podcast. And so you just simply push this in. And when I push it in, you'll begin to see that the uh, LCD screen here will start kind of moving here or the numbers will pull up. So let me make sure one way that you'll know that you successfully have your TF card in there is the m numbers will start uh, to move like that. And so you can simply just pause that uh, to stop it. And if you want to record, one thing that you can do is hold the play button down and then it will have record REC. And so I'm just going to sing, not sing, but talk into the mic and you'll be able to hear the audio of playback because I'm going to insert that in this video and so and so, and so testing, testing one two one two one two one two you know just what to do yeah and we're here with the life is beautiful podcast thank you for tuning in and if you have a um, condenser mic you'll be able to use phantom power so you'll just push that in but because I'm using the dynamic um, mic by Behringer um, I wouldn't push that because I don't want to do any damage to it and so you have your gain here highs and lows effects deals with these two blue knobs you have repeat uh, no repeat is here which is echo and then delay your voice will delay and if you don't want the effects on you can simply just click that up and you also have another uh, row for or column that lines up with this uh, mic line right there and then these controls kind of go with the USB um, where you can kind of control some highs and lows um, if you want to play music from like say if you had another device that you want to play music from while you are recording or if you want to record somebody on the phone you would plug your audio cords in here and then plug it into your smartphone device or tablet or whatever your communication tool and it should feed through and you'll be able to hear in your microphone or headphones excuse me jack and you'll be able to control the the phones from here and if you want to control the main you'll be able to do so here so i'm just going to stop this because it's possibly just picking up me as I reviewed this and so I'm done with that and if you have uh, any issues of wanting to hear you can simply just go and it'll replay and this is what that it was doing was replaying what I just recorded on the Behringer microphone other than that the sound quality is surprisingly good when you record to the micro SD card um, I didn't have some the, the I didn't have any luck with the USB sticks I was using I was using SanDisk and I could, couldn't get it to record and it may have been because I didn't fully understand how to toggle between the record but for me personally I just like uh, using the uh, SD or micro SD and if you have an adapter that you can buy you can uh, try that as well but 
didn't have any luck with the USB. But in fact, let's try that now just because everybody might not want to be able to use this because I have an adapter that I can um, go from here to my um, computer or to my iPad. So let me grab a, a thumb drive. So USB. I'm going to insert this in. One thing to note that I found from my research online is that you need to at least have an MP3 file on the root of this uh, USB stick because that's just the way that they, I guess, will know that you have some audio files, which is strange. I think, in my opinion, if you were to just stick this in, you should be able to simply, you know, do your thing. And so it went to blue, and I had my iPad Bluetooth to this thing so it could be picking that up and if it is that means that you can uh, play a video and control the controls and that's a whole nother review for me to do separately but I'm gonna go here and I had issues trying to get this to work that toggles and that's the reason why I use the TF card so I'm out of here last thing I'm gonna show you is in the mode you can uh, toggle and it has an FM tuner in it and you'll be able to toggle with these to go from different stations hold on right here to um, find a station and if you have your headphones in you may find an actual radio station that'll pick up you'll actually find a radio station that'll pick up so that's pretty cool um, feature in it so just recapping if you are into podcasting use this but only use the USB um, not the USB but the micro SD port because if you want to plug this into your PC it won't work because of the distortion if you do have a unit that works man you ought to be proud because guess what you are one of few who have a working model when it comes to that but if you want to be able to like I said record a podcast or something just use you know micro SD plug it in here and you'll be done one thing I like about it, recapping, is that you can power it up with a portable charger and you can record on the go. So if you like in the living room or outside, you'll be able to record that podcast. I hope this review was helpful. And leave a comment if you have this unit and it works on all cylinders. And if you share the same frustrations that I did before I found out that I could record to my micro SD card, let me know what you feel. This is Jay signing out.